<laughs> Never been taped before. So, um, uh, my name is Joyce Ten Heyer. I come from The Hague University, the Netherlands. Um, I work there as a lecturer of English business communication. I do research, obviously, because I wouldn't be here, but I'm also a teacher trainer, so trying to balance those three things in one job can be difficult enough. Um, my poster is about one of the challenges that I had to overcome to become a researcher um, because um, uh, similar to what Oriana just said, within our school there's not much interest in um, ELT research. So we're a very commercial school. The type of research that we do is not necessarily classroom based um, but more related to um, management issues, marketing issues, things like food and technology, change <coughs> management, those types of things. And I've written several research proposals uh, on ELT subjects, which I think from an ELT perspective are extremely interesting. Um, and we're also interesting um, in our classroom setting, but my, uh, my school and my management um, weren't really too eager on that particular topic. So I knew that if I wanted to really do research, I had to come up with a way to sort of balance my personal interest and the things that I found uh, useful for, for my teaching practice and the interest that my organization had. And basically what I've did, done in this um, infographic um, is summarize the three things that I did. So I focused initially very much on data that was already available in my classroom. So things like uh, student grades, student attendance, ethnic background, things that we already collect uh, on a weekly basis, information that we have readily available in our databases already, just so I could um, uh, limit the time and resources that, that I needed um, and to develop some of my research skills. Um, I also tried to look for a way to include my ELT interest in, in, the, um, uh, in the topics that interested my organization. So, um, I found some um, ways to do that by focusing more on internationalization uh, instead of just English language teaching. I also focused on some student characteristics like age or what kind of secondary education they had had. had. Um, also the, grade, the, the graduation rates, so how, how long did it take for them to graduate, so a more general approach to research. And um, my final thing, what I found very important is, um, is trying to get support from people um, outside of my organization uh, to sort of help um, find my own way in research. So I started doing internationalization research, which, which wasn't really my cup of tea, not really my field of interest, and I sort of felt like I was selling out, or as one of Marie, I think, just told me, I crossed over to the dark side <laughs> in doing research that didn't, really, that, that didn't really speak to me that much. Um, but after I started doing that, I finally found some people within the research network that, uh, that helped, um, helped support me. And actually, now I'm doing um, English medium instruction research, and I've been able to do that because I started giving presentations at, at conferences like this. And at one point, one of the audience members suggested um, that I do the exact research that I, that I had described in my proposal, and my supervisor was standing right next to me. And because there were other people interested in my topic, <laughs> apart from him, finally he saw that there really was a market for the research that I'd been wanting to do for such a long time. So I moved from uh, selling my soul to now finally doing research uh, in, in a topic that I feel really passionate about, and, that, and I've also found a way for my organization to be passionate about the subject that I'm researching. So if you have any questions or if you'd like to discuss that topic a bit further, then I'll be right here. <laughs>